All right, so I hope everybody's doing well. I'm gonna spend some time here talking about the company Hive Alive and the products that they have, which I do sell locally in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I do not ship at this time, so sorry about that. But um, my prices locally without shipping are definitely cheaper than uh, what's available online. So if you're local to Grand Rapids, you can find it on Facebook Marketplace or you can find me several ways. But anyways, I'm going to spend some time talking about these products. So I was first introduced to them over a year ago, uh, an interview on a podcast. I can't remember which one. If I do remember, I'll put it in the notes. And um, I was impressed with what they had to say and what I heard. So I started doing some more research on it at that time. And there wasn't much out there. But what I did here... I did like, and then also I did not feel like making fondant. So that was my first product that I tried to hive alive was their fondant. And I got to tell you that uh, they like it and they ate it really well. It keeps really well. You have to follow these directions. So obviously they didn't get into this until much later in the winter and we had an extra four or five weeks of winter here in Michigan. So this was very crucial to the success of the majority of my colonies. And I'm very happy that I had it on there. So a couple things you got to remember, it's pliable and when it's warm, it's going to, if it's warm outside, that's one thing, but it's a lot more warm inside the colony and this stuff will melt and drip all over the place. You have to follow the directions. So they recommend that you cut a window in it and then place it upside down with the window facing down, a small window, one inch, one inch, two inch, facing down over the center of your frames. And then they'll feed on it as they need. One of the things I noticed was that they're, they, they seem to have needed more access. So I last year cut some holes in the top as well. So you only have the one in case this thing will warm up so it doesn't become goo and drip down your frames and kill all your bees. You don't want that. You want them to work their way into it and remove it from the plastic. But I opened up some spots on top because there was no fear of that dripping down. And that really helped late in the season for them to gain access to it when they needed it. With that extended winter, it was brutal. And I noticed that once I opened this up and gave them more access to the top, they were able to consume it a lot quicker. So, And then they're nice because you can peel them off and throw another one on quickly without having to be inside the colony for a long period of time trying to add something, you could really just crack it. I use uh, quilt boxes so I can just lift the quilt box. I could also see through the screen how everybody's doing. Also, one of the things is, is I put my I put the holes on this side and then when I flipped it, I couldn't see because of the label. Put your, as a direction say, but put your hole on the label side when you flip it, you can see what the bees are doing. I wish I would have done that. I will be doing that this year. So. Put them out in the winter, came through winter, had great success. Noticed that they loved it. Uh, they were even eating these before all the honey was consumed. So th whatever that means, they were on it. They were using it. They weren't at it at the beginning of the winter because I run a double deep configuration. So they had to work their way through that bottom box of honey, get through that second box to even notice that it was up there. So once they got into that second box, they were consuming it. And because of the ingredients inside of it, they're consuming a bunch of good stuff, which helps with their gut health and um, many other things, which is available online. So anyways, Fondant was my first thing, and I did end up ordering more of the Fondant when I realized its success and its benefit for sale in Grand Rapids. And I do have the Fondant. Again, you can find me on Marketplace. I'm around. Uh, but only in Grand Rapids. I don't ship. Then they came out with their pollen patties which uh, the pollen is from Global. Don't quote me on any of this. I don't speak for Hive Alive. The pollen was from Global. I threw the box away. Um, I was putting this on early in the spring, and it was even on there when, it, when there was pollen in the environment. They were still consuming it. They were on it, chewing it. I was putting quarter pounds in, so these were together. That's a pound. I cut them in half and a half pounds, and I was cautious and only putting a quarter of a pound on. And they were, I could have been putting a half pound on. It was no issue. It wasn't going to cause a small hive beetle issue. They were consuming it so fast. You got to be careful with some of this stuff because 
you'll see them taking it and they're taking it and chucking it out the front door. So you have to look for evidence of it not being consumed. Um, if this makes it, if you're putting this in a double deep and it's on the top, maybe in the middle in the brew chamber, they still have to pass by all those frames. It's a, if it's all over your porch, they're chucking it. They're not, they're not consuming it. It's, there's no need for it to come out of the colony and then go back in. They're going to take it from where you put it and put it in the stores immediately right there. So if you're seeing paper and brown and pollen chunks and everything all over the front of your colony, they're not eating it. I did not see that. They are eating it and storing it from, from what I witnessed. So again, find it, very happy. Then I got the pollen patties for personal use. Um, and there was no refusal. They were on it very, very quickly. They were consuming it. I saw a great buildup early, early spring, which is what you want. That's why you're using the pollen patties in the spring. Don't put them on in the winter. Because you, you want them to spring, be built up as soon as that nectar flow and pollen starts happening so that they have a good workforce to immediately go out in the fields and start gathering it. Well, even when they were gathering it, pollen was coming in the front door. They were still eating this. And I had one that, one in particular that was limping and I kept giving this to them and uh, I'm fully convinced that that helped them to finally build up to be able to produce some honey this year because it was looking terrible coming out of winter and they're still doing great. So after that, then uh, I didn't, since the liquid is in here and the liquid is in here, it was kind of a no brainer from that stuff. I went out and um, contacted them and uh, just like I purchased this for sale in Grand Rapids locally, I ended up purchasing the liquid feed. So the liquid feed I started using this year and it, it's great. Uh, the bees seem to be doing a lot better health wise, which is obviously my, my uh, number one goal. But one of the things I am so happy about is that I don't have to clean my feeders. I don't have to clean that black mold out of my feeders anymore. Um, just by adding I use these three liter bottles, okay? So three liter bottles, I add 750 milliliters. So that's 250 per liter, which is barely nothing. The third one up is 750 millimeters, 7.5 millimeter, milliliters. So you don't add barely anything to it and it preserves it. It keeps the bees happy. It keeps their gut happy. I'm not seeing uh, dysentery, not seeing any problems. Also, I take a lot of the honey away from them, and then I feed them back sugar water. Uh, I'm sure there's a long debate on that, but the honey has more ash content than the sugar water. So that can tend, by feeding them sugar water, it can help with problems, um, gut problems during the winter, because if they're inside the colony and they're having gut problems and they can't get out and do their cleansing flights, you got problems and they're going to be uncomfortable and miserable. They're not going to be happy. They're going to be cranky. Same you, same way most of us are when we're sick. So disposition-wise, health-wise, uh, function of the colony, I have seen a definite improvement over last year, which to me justifies the price of it and all the products. I haven't found one that I don't appreciate. Um, and that my bees don't appreciate. So I'm very, very happy with it. I just ha have been selling it locally here and I got a message from someone who bought it and their message to me was, that stuff is amazing or that stuff is awesome. And they had a problem, gut problem, Nozema, uh, last year. So it probably was in their equipment, but they did get a colony this year. And the colony was angry um they weren't they weren't a happy colony when he worked them and he's been feeding this for three weeks they took down 2.5 gallons one time in no time at all so it's a strong colony and he says they're calm he says they're not they're not feisty and they're not acting up now is this the reason i don't know but again i can tell you when they're when they're sick and they're upset or there's a virus in there especially a gut problem they're not happy um, they're, they're, and you're going to see it. So he's seeing definite improvement, at least in the disposition. And um, I'm happy when I'm feeding this in the fall. 
because I know that everything that's going in the store is going to have this. So it's going to be consumed during the winter and it's going to be consumed in the spring when I need them at their best coming out. And it's going to give them all that more chance to build up. So I got this in the stores as I'm feeding it in the liquids that they're putting in there. I have these as an emergency. These as a backup in case they go through their stores. And I keep some of these extra on hand because, as I said, I can just cut a hole in it. I can pull that other one out. I can slide it in and close it up. And I don't have any heat loss, any problems. I can do it in a snowstorm quickly if needed. Uh, why I'd be in there in a snowstorm, I don't know, but you, you never know if it's uh, if it's an extended winter again, you could have problems. So these are uh, just some of the products that I have here locally in Grand Rapids. Again, I don't ship. Um, I also have these Pro Nukes. Um, I won't go over those now, but I do have them available here locally in Grand Rapids. Uh, eventually, I'll be giving at least one of those away, if not uh, multiples away. Next spring when we get towards uh, swarm catching season and splitting season. If you win it, do with it what you want. They make a great nuke for sale, for splitting, something to carry in your car. But anyways, um, we'll go over those in a later time. So anyways, I'm not going to promote this video. I don't speak for Hive Alive. Uh, YouTube is not affiliated with this. Hive Alive is not affiliated with it. But... I have these samples of Hive Alive. Um, they go over everything and then they have a free sample inside, which is good for a gallon. So first five to comment, I'm going to mail them to you. You'll each get one. Uh, so first five to comment and then I'll turn off the comments and uh, we'll get a hold of each other privately. Don't put your address in the comments of YouTube. No need for that. We'll figure it out. I may need some way to verify your, who you are if you have some crazy YouTube name. But we'll figure it out, and I'll get them in the mail to you. U.S. only. Also, again, I am not affiliated, or this is not affiliated with Hive Alive. Hive Alive is not doing this giveaway. I'm doing it. YouTube's not doing this giveaway. I'm doing it. I'm just trying to get more word out there about Hive Alive. Um, whether you listen, I don't ship. So, uh, am, am I getting uh, great sales from this? I sell locally in Grand Rapids. If you're in Grand Rapids, then maybe I'll get a sale. So, I want you to support other people that sell it. I know there's a guy in Lansing that's selling it now. Saw him online and then you can order directly from them. It is available on Amazon when it's in stock. Fond and Patties have not been in stock. I think they're in stock now. But if you don't want to buy 15 Fond and Patties, then I sell them in singles. Um, I do sell the pollen as well. And then obviously the liquid feed supplement. So I got five of these. I'm going to give them away. Uh, again, first five to comment. And I'll get them in the mail to you. I'm not asking you to subscribe. I'm not asking you to like. The only thing I'm asking you to do if, if you want to win is just make a comment. You can say anything you want. So I'm not trying to gain anything from this subscribers or uh, likes or anything like that. I just really, really believe in this company. And I want the word to get out there. Maybe a little bit late for you to be feeding, but maybe you consider using this to make fondant. Um, I don't know. You can do whatever you want. It will, it'll keep fine until the spring. So we're going to give five of those away. I understand that I believe they are going to be at Hive Life. So Cayman Reynolds. Um, it, uh, yeah, what they're doing down there in Tennessee, Cayman Reynolds and the Hive Life Conference. I believe Hive Alive getting a little confused because the names are so close, but Hive Alive is going to be at Hive Life, I believe. If you see them there and this stuff is on sale, and it'll probably, I would pick it up. It's a, it's a no-brainer to me now. If I wasn't selling it, I'd be buying it, and I am buying it because I'm consuming it. This is my second um, bottle I went through, and again, you don't use much of it at all, but I've already gone through one of these, and I have plenty more of that that's for sale. Again, I have the fondant if you're in an emergency situation this winter. I don't have a bunch of it, and I'm reserving some for myself, so I'm not going to sell out and then find myself in a situation where I need it. But I'm going to wrap it up with that again. This is me just giving it away. Um, if you are in Grand Rapids and you want a free sample, 
uh, as long as I have some available, find a way to get a hold of me. If you're in the Grand Rapids, Michigan area and you want one of these free samples without the commenting on here, I'm going to ship these you know, anywhere in the nation, so it doesn't matter. But if you want a free sample when you're in Grand Rapids, find a way to get a hold of me. Uh, Fishing for Bees here um, on YouTube, Fishing for Bees on Facebook, Fishing for Bees on Instagram. I'm active in several groups. Maybe you've seen me around. So um, also the honeybee swarm catching, um, I'm the administrator on that Facebook group. So the one with 20,000 members, not the one with 2,000 members or something like that. So anyways, there's two names that are pretty close to each other. We're the one with 20,000 members. So you can find me on there as well. And uh, if you're in Grand Rapids, uh, provided I got them, I got free samples. They were given to me to distribute. That's what I'm doing here. Um, distributing them, giving them out. If, if I uh, figure out how many I need locally and how many are left over, I'll be giving more away. And then in the future, I'll be giving some pro nukes away. I might even be giving some of the larger bottles away because um, I really appreciate the support that I've gotten. It's been fun. So thank you again. First five to comment. Uh, then we're going to turn off the comments so you know it's over if you can't comment. And we'll get a hold of each other privately and exchange address. I'm not using the addresses for anything else. I'm just trying to get you the product and I hope that you enjoy it and support someone who's selling it, Hive Alive or the company Hive Alive. You can order directly from them and they'll also be at Hive Life down in Tennessee, I believe. I hope so. It'd be great to see them down there. So thank you.